So guys, some really good news. If you like pinball, uh, expect the Twilight Zone pinball. <clears throat> Farsight Studios, that guy Jay Obernolte you just seen, um, they put up a Kickstarter and they reached their goal. Their goal was 55000 and they hit it. And that's really, really good. Um, and they made a stretch goal. So after they hit the 55000 which was their original goal, they put up a stretch goal for 110000 to get Star Trek, the next generation pinball, which is a pretty good pinball. It's a nice pinball. I played it a couple of times. Um, are they going to hit it? I don't know. They hit the 55000 within half the time. They had a goal and... The goal was 55000 and half the time that they had from A to B, they hit it. They hit that 55000 pretty quick, which is really, really good. I don't know if they're going to hit that 110. What I hope they'll do is start a separate Kickstarter. If they don't hit that 110, they they'll um, you know, maybe wait a little bit and start another Kickstarter down the road somewhere <clears throat> for like Star Trek The Next Generation, hopefully maybe a Terminator 2 or Adam's Family. Um... So I'm really excited about playing the Twilight Zone Pinball on um, on my Xbox 360. Um, I guess a good, uh, a big congratulations out to Farsight for doing something. It's not easy to do a Kickstarter and hit your goal. It's really not. Um, for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> Pinball Arcade is by Farsight Studio, and they've been the people that did the Williams Hall of Fame collection. They put out a Gottlieb collection. These are very, very good uh, emulations of pinballs. Probably if you don't own a real pinball machine this is the next best thing. It's the only thing I can say. I mean nothing's ever going to beat standing in front of a pinball machine where you're knocking it and rocking it. Um, but this is this is just as good and I always said in my last videos that as the <clears throat> as the uh, future consoles come out, you know, there'll be better technology and, and, and better graphics and who knows one day we'll be able to even have that real uh, pinball experience um, of, of like you see these people with these uh, future pinballs or these visual pinballs where it's actually a life-size pinball machine that plays tables and whatever, that's down the line. But what I'm saying is it's good. We reached that goal of 55,000. I'm, I'm very excited about hopefully playing this Twilight Zone pinball some prob probably sometime around November or December in 2012. If you guys really want to kick in for this Star Trek, I like Star Trek. I like the pinball. It's a good pinball. I kicked in a little bit more money. I'm not sure we're going to hit it. I hope that, uh, like I said, the uh, Farsight people put out a another Kickstarter goal. Maybe they take the money that was over 55000 and put it towards the um, new Kickstarter goal for Star Trek Next Generation. And then maybe we'll get some other cool tables uh, down the line um, that have high licensing fees. If you don't know about this, I will put the links to the Kickstarter uh, on the bottom of this uh, video. They also have a Facebook page, which I'll click on right now, called the Pinball Arcade go to it and they have a website you could go to google and you could type in uh... you know uh... pinball arcade farsight studio whatnot he puts a lot of stuff up of, of what they're doing the uh... facebook's very good they put out you know um... updates now and then and people are able to write to them you kinda you know people are usually writing about the tables that they want and they like which is which is a good thing um... farsight studios is pretty good and you know big congratulations uh, this video is June 6th. They got 10 more days to go, I guess, until, uh, they might reach that stretch goal. They have reached the 55,000 goal, which I'm excited about. Maybe we'll get some new pinball tables. Check them out on YouTube. Type in Pinball Arcade and people put up videos. I put up a couple videos. And that's it. So for all the people who love pinball, like me, who grew up with it, this is very exciting. And, uh... I don't know, have fun. If you don't have an Xbox or a PlayStation or a iPad or an iPhone or an Android or anything like that, get one. If you like pinball, get one. If you don't like pinball, don't get one. I don't know. But uh, that's it. Hope everybody has a great day and uh, I'll talk to you soon.